Here we are in the presence of a typical biofilm of periodontal active disease. So you see the biofilm at 100 magnification. You can see much activity of the bacteria. You can see many spots and uh, many bigger spots which are the amoeba that we can see and we have uh, little channels or roads made by those uh, amoeba so if you look very carefully you see those uh, rounded spots in the middle of the activity in the middle of the leukocyte and uh, uh, bacteria motile bacteria so when we go to the um, high magnification of 1000 times we can see the activity of the bacteria some area where there's less activity and in the middle you uh, habitually see uh, like usual the presence of those amoeba here you have one two three four five six seven uh, amoeba surrounded a little bit by uh, on the upper part by white cells uh, with uh, three um, lobulated uh, nucleus and in the middle you have a small amoeba here you have uh, many leukocytes with bacteria that are moving so uh, there's a lot of uh, inflammation presence of the leukocyte uh, much activity and you see the the channel the roads made by the amoeba and um, here again many uh, white cell and then we have bigger amoeba that have uh, uh, plenty of uh, nucleus inside the um, their membrane you see the on the left the grayer part of the endoplasm um, again one big amoeba going down with a lot of uh, and here you have two amoeba uh, one with uh, a special form on the top and you have a smaller amoeba going under uh, this one uh, moving along so uh, this is very typical of uh, the uh, active periodontitis of course you have the bacteria of course you have the presence of the leukocyte of the white cell and you see those big amoeba that are clearly um, in correlation with all uh, periodontal disease so it is very important that you uh, see those uh, particularity of the periodontal disease again uh, some debris many bacteria moving bacteria and also um, those uh, amoebas so let's see you see the um, how the movement of the amoeba with the pseudopod here going uh, down around the uh, neutrophile which which has uh, plenty of uh, granulation inside it with the nucleus here again uh, some bacteria and then we see uh, in the upper part an amoeba going um, going uh, right to the right and you see the uh, uroid or uropod the, this uh, uh, capping phenomenon that you un see on the histolytica you have the same uh, appearance in the mouth with uh, probably gingivalis but who knows it should be analyzed so you see the amoeba with this movement and you see the uropod at the end uh, part of the at left of the amoeba here one again so we think if you want to cure this disease if you want to get rid uh, of this disease you really have to get rid of the amoeba you have to get rid of the bacteria and you have to get rid of the of the leukocyte um, you can see this on another uh, video so you see here how the amoeba they really uh, make uh, like a nest and they uh, they live together uh, around each other and uh, they really make a big nest and they uh, seem to reproduce in this um, biofilm uh, under the gum close to the tooth and uh, at the deepest part in general of the pocket uh, of the gum disease you see another big amoeba uh, which is very large with the nucleus and you see on the left part the little um, channel with is which represent the phagocytosis of a nucleus of a white cell at the uh, left part you see this uh, 
this black line which is the phagocytosis of the white cell so this is abnormal that you have in the to your gum this kind of uh, opportunistic uh, which feed which feeds from the nucleus of the white cells here again you see how it does nest inside the gum so uh, if you want to uh, get better you have uh, your gum uh, healed uh, you really have to uh, get rid of this so in general we use some medication some topic medication and uh, we use uh, some systemic uh, medication if needed to get rid of those amoeba if you get rid of the amoeba then you also get rid in general of the uh, motile bacteria and uh, you have to uh, complete uh, every day uh, some disinfection for some month and then uh, you can have a closing of the pocket and you can have uh, healing to to happen but make sure you have uh, somebody a doctor with the microscope that that he can uh, check for all this thank you